My name is Rashawn Fortune. Uh, I'm yeah. from Anderson, South Carolina, and I am a hip hop uh, rapper. A nigga feeling about tipsy. What the fuck? Looking for a bad bitch to be up on my nuts. Man, I'm feeling so low. End up looking around the club like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I actually started as as a poet. To be honest, I started as, um, it was around seventh grade. I was just kind of bored in class, you know, writing in the back. Then writing in the back turned into battle rapping with little, you know, we all in seventh grade, so we make a little you know, BS. But after that, it was like, okay, I kind of I kind of got something here, so let me turn these poems into raps. And I started taking it serious in, I want to say 10th grade. That's when I got my first microphone like my first serious microphone and got my first performance it was at a uh, it was a club in anderson south carolina called um club peaches or something like that it was you know i'm way too young to be in there anyway so it was like i don't mean here it's all this you know all this club stuff going on i think i just got my permit but it was like you know for me being as young as i was it was actually rocking with the songs or whatever so that's when, I, that's when I started thinking, like, you know what, I could probably actually make something out of this. To be honest, it's crazy that I even got into music like that, because they didn't allow me to watch, like, BET, MTV, music videos. I wasn't even allowed to watch it. Everybody would go to sleep, I would turn the TV on, have it on, like, volume or two, you know, get up close to it and just watch whatever happened to be on. And, you know, my, my first memorable video was Nas One Mic. Funny thing is, man, I've been through more names than clothes. Um, <laughs> um, Rashawn Fortune is the latest one. It's actually, Rashawn is my middle name. And um, Fortune actually comes from one of the quotes that I like uh, by Jim Rohn saying, you know, um, you work, you know, you work all your life to make a living, but you work your part time to make your fortune. So fortunes is actually what I want to make. Rashawn is my middle name, and before that, it was just like you know, rings, dramatic film, like little high school stuff that you know you kind of going with. But um, like you know, you can have a name and then you kind of saying it, but you don't really feel it. That's how all the rest of them was. Yeah, they be like, what's that? What? Yeah, what that mean? So, you know, Rashawn is actually part of me. That's actually my middle name. And then I actually want to be, you know, Fortune as well, making money like that. So that's where Fortune came from. Looking for a bad bitch to be a former nuts. Man, I'm feeling so low. Considering it's not a lot of uh, artists from the South that's like jumping lyrically, you know, there's always the, you know, there's always Atlanta, the Mecca. They always got people. But, you know, you think about North and South Carolina, who come to mind? J. Cole. You know, if you old school, you might think Petey Pablo. If you in the clothes, you might say Lil Rue. You don't have to be from up north to have a story behind your music. You know, I want people to know that we ain't just chucking and jiving down south, and that's all we do. You know, we, we go through life like everybody else. We can tell stories. We know about love, heartbreak, you know, struggle, survival, you know, and even just, you know, telling stories. Uh, above average, that came about actually, um, I was saying above average in a lot of my old lyrics, just saying that I was, you know, above average, or I'm doing stuff different than other people, um, just because of the fact that I do feel like I got a lot on me because of what I want to represent. Like, I don't want to just be famous, I want to actually represent, like, the Carolinas, I want to re represent different organizations, and, um, Above average came to mind because of the fact that I was gonna have to be, you know, I was gonna have to be over the top. You know, being another down south artist but trying to be lyrical, you're gonna have to do something to stand out. You know, so um, I hooked up with, with DJ Reckless, um, which is a label through, Q, um, a DJ through QC the label that I actually met at uh, Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. And, you know, he basically put me on saying that he could, uh, he could host a tape for me. Uh, he heard a lot of my tracks, so he was like, yo, put something together right quick, you know, and uh, shoot it on over to me. Because um, before Above Average, I had just dropped an album through my label, uh, Enforce Entertainment, probably a month and a half before Above Average came out. You look at people like, like Wayne and Drake, and they had, you know, three or four mixtapes out in a summer. 
you know, so, you know, who am I to say, okay, I got an album out, that's, that's good enough, you know, so they had, you know, the One Man Army album, which is, you know, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, everywhere, and then um, I got back in the booth, and obviously, you know, I still had some stuff to talk about, because I put a whole nother mixtape together and shot it over to Reckless. Come check out Urban Ink Clothing, where the hottest gear is at for men, women, and children with accessories, hats, snapbacks, sneakers. Come check us out at Urban Ink Clothing, 917, Roanoke Avenue, Roanoke Rapids, two doors down from Burger King. At this point, honestly, I could say um, it's a track off of, actually it's on Above Average and it's on my last mixtape, 0 to 60, called Thought Cloud. Um, Thought Cloud, basically, it's, it's one of my more lyrical songs. And it's talking about um, basically a man that's striving to get somewhere in life, but life keeps drawing him back. You know, he want to work and get off work, get to the grind. But, you know, he crack a beer, chill for a little bit, start drinking, trying to go get some work done. Then he calling girls, you know. Then, you know, he wake up the next morning, he's like, dang, got to go back to work. You know what I'm saying? Miss, miss the whole day. So, so he just, that's really what this song is about. So it's like it's showing kind of a party side in the story, but at the same time it's showing lyricism. So you can actually hear a story in it and know what, it, what I'm talking about. So I would definitely say if you've never heard of Rashawn Fortune, you've never heard anything by me, I would say check out Thought Cloud first and gauge the rest of me from there. What up? It's Rashawn Fortune and you are tuned in to Underground Radar Media. I'm already late. Press my teeth and throw on a shirt. Another 12 hours going down the drain. Trying to make history work.